there thanks so much for clicking on this video i am christina if you haven't seen me before i live in london work in publishing um and i'm on youtube instagram all of that jazz today i am in wales it's the 28th of december so it's the in-between period between christmas and new year yeah i thought i'd take you along on my little trip here I hope you enjoy. If you do enjoy, make sure you subscribe, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I've come to Wales to spend some time with my boyfriend's family. Um, um, last night we went to the pub, had a really nice meal and just some few drinks. And I took a few different clips, so I'll just share it here. And this morning we are off to Conway to go to a ice cream parlour place for some breakfast. <laughs> so we randomly decided about half an hour before the sun sets. You're not even going to be able to hear me. But we just decided to walk up the mountain. But it's so windy. And I feel like my phone's about to drop out my hand. Oh my god. And we're back in the car. Oh my god, I look. Oh. That wind was crazy. Dead weight. <laughs> crazy. Honestly, my face feels like it got a workout from that wind because I was like this the whole time. But I'm very glad they did that. No, it's very fun. Good morning. It's currently Thursday and we are up early because we were going to take Tom's car into the garage but then we didn't have to but meant we were up early and going on a little walk along the promenade and then going into town to go to Waterstones and potentially get a coffee. Potentially. Oh it looks very moody on camera. Mm. Look at it.
go. Uh, oh, sorry, everyone else joining. Right I'm just putting more of that in. Oh, need to get oh a oh. chocolate oh. sprinkle. That's a bit too <laughs> Yeah, you're not Britain. What I've never been in that, is he? <laughs> Good morning. It is currently Friday, New Year's Eve, which is crazy. Last day of 2020. <laughs> Last day of 2022, which is crazy. You can move. And we have come to what village have we come to? Abergwyn Gregan. Abergwyn Gregan. That's right, isn't it? Abergwyn yeah. Gregan. Yeah, that's right. Um, and we're going to go to Aberfalls, which is a. That wasn't me. <laughs> I'm going to go to Aberfalls, which is a waterfall that Tom showed me when I first came to Wales, so it was like two years ago, and I haven't been there since, so we're going to go on a bit of a walk. <laughs> to 11 on New Year's Eve and Tom and I are going to climb up the mountain and see the New Year in. He lives in a village with mountains all around it and we can basically walk up the mountain. Sorry the floor's really creaky and if there are any fireworks going off we'll see it and if not we'll see the New Year in on the top of the mountain which is amazing. So I am wrapping up super warm to get going. He's currently downstairs making some hot chocolate wrap up super warm, a little bit scared to be honest because I mean we're going to be walking in the dark in the middle of nowhere but we've got like head torches and like everything prepared for what we needed so like should be fine and safe and everything but we'll see. I'm going to try and take you along but obviously it is going to be the dark so we shall see. It's too hot I think. <laughs> I'll tell you what you'll be walking for five minutes and you'll be too Look at hot this. to see what I'm already, I'm already bored. Oh yeah, you can't see. Oh, thank you. Hello. Right, <laughs> we're on our walk up the mountain. It's 10 past 11 and we're going. Coming. Okay, halfway. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, you look funny. So we've come to where we started the other day. Oh gosh, that's bright light. And now we're on the last bit where I am, as you can tell, sweaty and out of breath. But we've got half an hour left until midnight, so we're going to make it. We made it! We are at the top and it looks amazing. I don't know if you're going to be able to see any, but we'll see. we got eight minutes to the knee. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy, Happy New Year! Year. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty good. Good morning. Um, it, is an, it is a mess behind me. And I did not look that great, but I'm not really sure what clips I got from last night, but it was really fun. It was a really cool way to bring in the new year to climb up a mountain and to watch the fireworks from the top of the mountain. Um, there were so many fireworks as well. We were exhausted on the way. I don't think I took any clips on our way down because it was just the wind like fully picked up and it was just really tiresome. And it was like, obviously, I think it was like 1am by then and it was quite a struggle to get down, but a really cool and really fun night um and just a and just a unique way to bring in the new year which i enjoyed we've just had a bit of a chilled morning i actually got stung by a wasp um which was not nice it's not a great start to the year but oh well um it's actually really nice and sunny today so we're gonna go on a little beach walk we were just watching a bit of the football which 
I don't care about, but Tom does. So we watched the first half of the football and now we're going to go on a beach walk for me. And then when we come back, I think we're going to watch the Harry Potter reunion, which I'm very excited for. Ever since I knew I was coming to Wales for the new year, I've always said, can we go, make sure we go on the beach on New Year's? Because I didn't grow up or live anywhere near the beach or the sea. So whenever I see it, it's really special to me. And just the idea of doing that on New Year's Day, just like makes me happy. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Also, like, look at the view from Tom's window. Like, how beautiful is that? Just like a mountain and blue sky. So, this is Tom's village and literally a mountain and then the beach and a nice big road, but crazy. <laughs> Right, I first of all look a mess, um, you'll find out why, but I think last time you saw me was January the 2nd when me and Tom kind of had our last day in Wales and we went on a beach walk, we played some chess and we just had a nice chilled night in. Um, <laughs> that all changed because on Sunday, Sunday the 3rd of January, I was supposed to go back home, going to get the train from Wales to my parents' house and then my parents were going to drive me to London and I was going to go back to work on Tuesday, just have a full on get back to real life and I did have a natural flow on Sunday morning and I was positive. So it's been quite a week, um, made even more by this morning, which I don't know if you can tell, but my eyes are quite red from crying. Um, that sounds really dramatic. Sunday instantly went into isolation. I was, I'm here in Wales with Tom's parents' house and because me and Tom had already been together, we were like, okay, we've always been together, like we'll stay together, but we've tried to distance from his family. And from Sunday to Wednesday, I was pretty unwell. Um, I had every symptom under the sun. I actually thought when I woke up on Sunday morning that I had tonsillitis because I've had it like four times in the past uh, five months, now five times. So I thought on Saturday night that it started hurting to swallow. That's normally my sign that I have tonsillitis. And then I woke up on Sunday and I had really swollen tonsils, but was also a bit sniffy and coughy. And I was like, oh, I was going to do a natural flow anyway to go back and meet my parents. And yeah, it was positive. Um, and then all the symptoms came and I had really bad headache, genuinely from kind of Sunday to Thursday. Honestly, the headache's kind of still there. Like it's still like there, it's like a, a two, but it was at like a seven and a nine, a seven and a nine, I keep on saying. From like Sunday to Wednesday, I was so tired. I was, I had a nap every day. Uh, I just couldn't like hold a conversation. Like I basically like just lost my personality. I had to smile, like I had to like give energy to a conversation. Um, it was really full of cold. Monday I was sneezing loads. Uh, it was really like sniffy and luckily I wasn't coughing too much considering I have asthma, I was quite worried about that. But actually it was my tonsillitis that got bad. Um, yeah, COVID basically gave me tonsillitis. So it was my fifth time in I think six, seven months of having it. And that was really intense and my tonsils still aren't good. Um, I wasn't able to get any antibiotics from it because I'm in Wales, not England. And I hadn't had a fever, so they wouldn't give me anything. So yeah, Sunday to Wednesday wasn't good. I tried to work on Tuesday and I fell asleep in the afternoon. So I took Wednesday off and um, Tom hasn't been very well either. He testing positive as well. Um, wasn't as bad as me, but still not very well. Um, luckily the rest of the family haven't got it, surprisingly. So yeah, that was my first week of 2022. And then if I tested negative yesterday and today, I would have been able to go home today and go back to London. And I tested negative yesterday and I tested positive today. So I don't think my test yesterday was very good. Um, 
So I was crying all morning because I wanted to go back to London because it's my birthday on Tuesday and I had lots of plans for it. Um, so now I'm here, which really isn't the end of the world. I just was, I'm not very good when plans change. It's one of my worst traits, kind of being so anxious and head up when plans change. And when it's a plan about my birthday, when considering last year my birthday was spent in lockdown, it really got to me. Um, and I also just really want to get back to London. I want to get back to my regular life there. I haven't been in London now since 16th of December. So it's going to be basically be a month now. And as much as I love spending time, I spent two weeks like with my parents and now I will spend two weeks here and it's lovely to spend time with them all and have a break and stuff. But now I'm just ready to get back to work. I'm ready, although I did work on Thursday and Friday, I'm ready to get back to London, to my own space, to make my own space better. I've got some new things for my room. I've got new clothes to wear. I just, I was, there's been so much stuff online about like being productive with 2022 and stuff like that. And I was really ready for that. And so that has had to be pushed back doing a life update on COVID. Thank you. And a little waiter. She gets her coffee every day. Yeah, very lucky. <laughs> oh, that's very nicely frothed, babe. Yeah, you know, Ooh. my new machine. Yeah, yeah works well. So yeah, things have not been great, but they really haven't been that bad. Like, I wasn't really ill. I have got to spend two weeks with Tom, which considering we we're in a long distance relationship, like that's lovely. And now I get to spend my birthday with him. I had a really nice time in Wales beforehand. And although I think I got COVID basically on the train to Wales, um, transport for Wales, the trains. <sighs> um, I had a really nice week in Wales beforehand, so I really don't <laughs> regret coming here in the slightest. Um, just not being the start of 2022 that I thought that, that I thought it was going to be. <sighs> so yeah, it means I'm behind on YouTube. I have a best books of 2021 video that I filmed when I was back in London, literally the beginning of December, but I still haven't put that up. And to be honest, I wanted to get this Wales vlog up sooner because it's the stuff that I enjoy most editing so the books one will go up eventually I'm going to vlog my birthday this week so hopefully whenever I do it I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself though because I think it's going to take a while for me to get back fully into life and balance and I'm cautious that I could be tired that I could have a headache brain fog all of that we're just going to see how it goes plus it's my birthday so I'm not going to put pressure on myself but videos coming your way are uh, best books for 2021 and hopefully a birthday vlog um yeah it's my birthday on the 11th of January I'm lucky because I have planned loads of other stuff uh, but I've really gone full out with my birthday this year so although I'm not actually going for dinner on my actual birthday that I plan my best friend has taken me to the theatre on Thursday so fingers crossed that goes ahead I'm planning to go back to London Wednesday evening isolation finishes on Tuesday night now so back to London Wednesday and my best friend's taking me to the theatre on Thursday. I know I say theatre weirdly, that's just me. Friday, hopefully Tom will be in London, we'll go for a little date night. Um, Saturday we'll just spend the day in London and then Saturday evening I've got lots of my friends having a night out in London and I'm very excited. And then my parents are coming to London on Sunday and we're going out for Sunday lunch to celebrate mine and my mum's birthday with Tom, my brother Matthew and then my mum and dad. So. I have got really good things to look forward to and although this morning was quite a step back um you just gotta roll with what life takes you and 2022 can only go up from here i figure um i also did finally do my vision board for 2022 yesterday i first started doing vision boards last year and i absolutely loved doing it i did one for the whole of 2021 i did a spring one i did a summer one and i did an autumn one i think last year but this is my 2022 one i love it it's got all the stuff that i want to see myself doing this year and just the vibe I want to have so yeah well, I hope this vlog was okay a bit of a life update in the end there but I hope it was interesting um and I hope I got some nice shots of Wales and yeah thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you soon bye bye